Shalom everyone. I hope that you are doing fabulous. Thanks for joining for a general reading. If you are new, welcome to my channel. My channel could be very intense. I read my tarot a lot different than a lot of people. So just buckle up and what I say. And uh, you will get scripture here because it is found in the tarot. You will hear me say Yeshua, Yehovah, Holy Spirit, all that kind of stuff. It's not a religious channel, um, but it is a channel of truth. And I do keep the commandments of Yehovah Elohim. People call him the universe. He's got many names about him. But anyway, welcome. Um, if you have a birthday today, happy birthday, happy anniversary, and Shabbat Shalom. And so, um, by the time this video has been uploaded or when most people watch this, it will be uh, Shabbat. And if you don't know what Shabbat is, it's the Sabbath. And some people say, no, that's on Saturday. Well, it's Jerusalem time is uh, what I am uh, observing. So, anyway, Shabbat Shalom for those of you who are observing on Jerusalem time today for the Shabbat. Anyway, let's see what's going on. Thank you, Yehovah Elohim, for this day. I thank you for your comfort. I thank you for your grace. Jehovah rebuke, bind and block every foul, wicked, dark energy right here, right now. We thank you for the angels. We thank you for the Holy Spirit. We thank you for the benefits that you load us down with every day. What do you want to bring out here? What's going on in the right now moment? What would you like to speak about? Thank you. We have the Two of Cups coming out. The Sun. What's this positive? The Empress. The Empress is here. I've seen her right before we got started. And then the Tower. Something known on the Tower. It's jolted something. This is a force. A real big force when that comes out. Somebody was in unity for some situation. Some truths. Not some uh, truth. Um, to the surface as well. There's a message here with the little page. Let me do this since I'm at a different uh, table today on my video. The King of Cups was underneath that. I'm not going to take that card, but he did show himself. This love and romance situations, good solid messages, paradigm shifts, known information um, within matters today. Somebody's seen something that may have knocked something loose as well. Um, pregnancies, projects, the law could be here with the Empress. Um, this is a forceful overthrow to something very positive here. Let me get another deck of cards and see what's going on. Let me use this deck. <clears throat> Show me this message because we had messages that came out yesterday real big and strong as well. Could be, you know, children is out here really big. The Empress represents pregnancies and stuff. So something about children or teenagers could be out here really big. Sexual matters then are here. It's positive though. I mean, if that's all in the upright, show me the messages, please. What's this page here for? Good solid message today. Um, the King of Pentacles. Something about work matters with the King of Pentacles. And this page is either about this King of Pentacles or it's this King of Pentacles giving a message. There's some type of uh, seeing eye to, eye to eye within a matter of some bosses, employees, could be a female boss uh, around something as well, somebody's wife or somebody who um, is interested in the Empress is also here. So I can give some type of a message for some type of a love and romance situation. And there's there's something that's known here. Show me the tower. There's, show me the tower. We'll also look at this King of Pentacles as well and see what this message about him is or that energy. What's the tower here for? This is a jolt. This is a force. This is a jolt. What's the tower here for? The Four of Swords. Something's known about something either premeditated or a death. Uh, it says truce 
here. If somebody's looking at the truth, this is truth setting somebody free, one of the meanings of the tower. So something's known about the Four of Swords. Something about medical situations could also be here. Uh, the Four of Pentacles is at the bottom of the deck. Two Fours could be some, some type of a house move situation as well. Or somebody's being kicked out. Okay, we see somebody literally being kicked out of the tower as well with the force within matters. Okay, uh, whatever that is, there's been pride and conceit, but these also go back to pride and conceit. If the Empress has lost her value, she's just a, somebody this cute on the outside. Don't give a rip. Okay, whatever this is, this is resting after a broken heart as well. Somebody's going to look at the truth and let some pride and ego be knocked down from the heavens. And uh, come with a good solid message within something today, then great for some of y'all. That energy is going to go that way. Show me this King of Pentacles here around this message. You hold up. What is this King of Pentacles here around this message? Something's going to have to be forced because I'm feeling the stubbornness here. I'm really feeling the stubbornness here. The Eight of Pentacles. So work matters is here because the Eight of Pentacles is work. This is about a commitment. Eight, nine, ten pentacles over here on this message. Okay, being in unity around, you know, work matters. Okay, the two of cups is here again. It's here twice, and then the truth about legal matters, uh, contractual things, stuff like that. When the justice comes out, there will be justice to something here. The truth is here. This is about being bent and cuffed as well in the Hebraic language it's the open hand as well somebody wants to be generous or there's unity to be generous somewhere or to work on something to lay down a foundation something's bright about it people because the Empress has a counterpart that's in the uprights and somebody's got somebody coming in for them there's messages here definitely messages on messages about the truth and work okay uh, around this King of Pentacles uh, this is fast travel this fast communication. The eight, of, uh, the eight of Wands can also be an investigation card as well. All right. Well, let me just take some words out here and see what's coming out. What words do you want to bring out on this message, Jehovah? Because there's unity here about something. And it's a bright future for those who are going to face the truth. And get into unity. And put some type of a foundation down to work on something. A spy has been out here. Um, someone tall is involved in the situation as well. Oh, we have a spy. This is the eyeball in the Hebraic language. Okay. Uh, some type of a separation situation has been here. Well, this is, again, if somebody's moving and being jolted out of their home, meditating on something because something is known around some love and romance situation, then I guess there's a separation. This goes back to that kind of stuff. Divorces, marriages, contractual things. Somebody's been in separation. And now there's going to be a new foundation laid. Then something's going to be worked on here in unity. Okay, so somebody's going to come back together. Then so be it. somebody's had a legal separation here with this justice card. Okay. We have a family betrayal that came out yesterday. And uh, somebody has had split personalities. They wanted to jump over here around this uh, page in this King of Pentacles. This may be somebody that you work with, somebody uh, in the law, or somebody's um, father or child, or something like that. Somebody's got split personalities. This empress and the negative would be unbalanced, okay? There's a mental case out here, people. There's, because there's been a family betrayal. This family energy out here. The, the King of Pentacles represents a family man as well. A business deal. There was a unity around a business deal as well. <clears throat> we have a secret out here it's also an independence room this is a ch the q and the x it's also the letter q in the hebraic language this is the uh, letter ein which is an a we have a g and an l 
out here and a K and or a C could be out here. So this um, CH, the Q and the X is out here with this. This is a secret. This is independence. Some type of a magic stupidness has been out here as well around some ordeal. And this is about using your intuition. Somebody have to use your intuition because there's quick messages and things like that taking place. Uh, then so be it. There's some type of a business deal around something. So somebody who's got split personalities, okay, he's got some stupid business deal. There's an abomination around it. I'm saying that if you are new because the scripture says that if your uh, uh, skills are not even, there's an abomination somewhere. Somebody's being chunked out of something here, okay? Um, around some ordeal. We're talking about somebody tall. We're also dealing with giants and stupidness like the scripture talks about. People infiltrated with their little demonic entities. Ridiculous. Show me what's in the hidden that's coming to the light. Show me what's in the hidden that's coming to the light, Jehovah. What's in the secret that you want to reveal? There's such a stubborn... That's why there's got to be a force out here. Force to separate something. Okay? A force to come and to speak about some business deals already went down. Okay? It's caused separation within family betrayal or deals. Okay? Whatever that is. Somebody's ex is still showing up in the freaking table. Freaks. Celebration or get togethers or something like that is in the hidden space. Okay, people going out, having good times, stuff like that. Um, but there's a secret, there's a secret here, people. You need to use your intuition. Gifts, okay. This is a generous person energy. This is what the Gimel is in the Hebraic language. The letter G is rich and generous. So this is a generous person out here. If somebody's going to balance out scales, and communicate, okay, and lay a, a good foundation here with an, a good solid message, then great. They'll separate the stupid mental case and a half person. What else is out here? What else is in the secret that you want to reveal, you hold on. Thank you. Um, there is some type of a lover energy out here. Okay, this is an adultery card as well, but this is also a special person to somebody. Somebody's got a special person out here, then it shows it with the two of cups. There's a foe, and somebody's lost their credibility out here because they got mental problems. They're split. Okay, they've been separated on the inside of their brain. Uh, there's somebody who um, uh, thinks that something's going to go their way, and it's just not. Okay, so whoever's out of balance, whoever ha has split personalities, whoever is a little spy. Uh, who's done some stupid business deal, okay, giving gifts and stupidness like that ain't going to go your way. You're a freaking foe. And those of you understanding the truth and you're dealing with some stupidness, there's something bright for us coming out here. There is hope, okay? I mean, look, unless you've lived like this and understand what that's like, you have no idea how to hope against hope. But there is hope out here because Jehovah's bringing it out here. Um, there is a journey that is well needed. There's a reward coming. There is. This is a reward card here with this gift. Okay, and there's unity around something for a gift, and I guess some freak is going to be all bit out of shape because it ain't going to go the way that they think it's going to go. This will come out. Enjoy your day, Shalom.